Welcome to the series of how these renderings were made. Today we are going to analyze this project made by Impact 3DC, an architectural visualization studio located in India. This time we are not only going to analyze how they made the renderings, but also how they prepared the project to make an animation. In other words, welcome to the series of how they made this animation. It took them about two months to complete this whole project, including modeling, imaging, and animation. The idea of this animation was to make it look as natural and elegant as possible. The cameras decide how the viewer will perceive the shot or the whole frame. Making a storyboard is the best way to show the vision, which will set them off and decide the sequential path of the animation. In any animation, background music plays an exciting role as it will connect the audience to a specific mood. To create a better animation viewing experience, they looked for a piece of music with a rhythm that would match the animation and give a dramatic tone to everything. Generally, they modeled everything in SketchUp, as it is very convenient to use. After doing the basic modeling, they imported it into 3Dismal, where they tweaked the model making it more detailed. We are looking at the configuration of their materials. Textures and materials play a fundamental role in any animation, so they dedicated special attention to them. They used the Corona Render, and their goal was to make each texture and material feel as natural and realistic as possible. The client gave them a landscape design with what they intended to plant once the house was complete. And so they did. They placed this vegetation chosen by the client that we are seeing in the environment. To disperse the models, they used Ito Software's Forest Pack. With this plugin, anyone can achieve a quality dispersion with the natural feel. These are some of the parameters for the water simulation. They used the Phoenix plugin for 3DS Max. These are some of the parameters for the tree simulation. They used Grofx for it. Lighting plays the most important role in any animation to get one to feel the ambience of any scenario. In this, they tried to cover certain times of the day, like early morning, early evening, and moonlight to give an idea how a complete architecture behaves under different lighting conditions. These are some of the basic parameters of the daylight scene. They also introduced some fog to give some soft lighting in some areas. These are some of the basic parameters of the night light scene. They kept the full moon as it can illuminate the whole scene. Throughout this animation, they tried to cover the space of the architecture and its connectivity with various indoor and outdoor areas. During the camera compositions, they kept in mind the rule of thirds, main lines, and depth of field to guide the viewers effectively. After getting all the camera angles with the music in the background, they edited the walkthrough without processing the footage, as we see in this image. Before we finish, we leave you with the render settings they used in all the scenes. After rendering, they edited everything. Some animations needed color correction and some effects to embellish the scene. Normally they do their best to get a good render quality in the rendering. As you can see in these images, there are some color correction parameters and an arrangement of all the clips according to the music. We leave you with the final animation, but first if you found the video interesting please like and subscribe to analyze more projects.